Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and I want you to do this to overcome stomach ulcers. Now the discovery, if you've not yet heard the story about the link between bacteria that H. pylori with developing stomach ulcers was made by a very heroic doctor, Dr. Barry Marshall, who, you know, based on what his peers thought or didn't think uh, in terms of that connection with that bacteria causing stomach ulcers, he decided to take it upon himself to drink a whole vial of H. pylori, that bad bacteria, to see if it, what it would do to his gut, if it would give him an ulcer. And sure enough, it did. And he was able to treat himself with antibiotics to kill off the bad bacteria, and he got better. So he was actually awarded the Nobel Prize in 2005, I believe, in terms of making this huge discovery. So we've known since then that bad bacteria definitely has something to do with developing stomach ulcers and and another impact and, and thing that you may not have heard is that definitely stress has a huge component in developing stomach ulcers as well. So a book written called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers is a very interesting read. If you do suffer from stomach ulcers, I highly recommend that you look at this book and you know, really knowing that when they have studied stomach ulcers in animals and stressors and not having an outlet for that stress, definitely definitely had an impact on the stomach ulcers and the invasiveness of the stomach ulcers and not having that healing aspect if animals didn't have that outlet for that stress. So we know that stress is a huge factor when it comes to digestive health and taking care of that is definitely something that is very important. Okay, I promised now that I would get to some tips as to how to overcome some stomach ulcer issues in your own life and of course doing it naturally. So tip number one is to follow mother nature's prescription. And you've heard me talk about this in other videos, getting outside, getting grounded, and earthing is very important first thing in the morning, especially looking at that sunrise. These are all things that are really important in terms of setting your day off in the right way, but also setting your circadian rhythms for health and for proper sleep and detoxification as you are sleeping, which is very reparative. We do heal when we're sleeping, and if we're not having a restful night's sleep, then that has can have a negative impact on what's going on with our digestive health and with stomach ulcers as well. Tip number two is to fix your leptin resistance. So this is something, if you don't know what leptin resistance is and how to fix it, please go over to my leptin resistance videos here on YouTube. You will definitely learn a lot more about that process and what you can do, which is actually quite easy. You just have to take the steps to fix that inflammation in the body and that leptin signaling so that your body can start to work the way that it's meant to in tune with nature. Tip number three is to heal the microbiome. So definitely fixing your gut ecology, whether that is including more probiotic foods in your diet, you may need to do a parasitic type of or candida type of cleanse with herbal medicines to kill off some of those less favorable organisms, which can definitely be wreaking havoc on your health and your digestive tract and improving that gut diversity. So having a good diversity of those gut bugs is very important for your overall microbiome and your overall health and your immune system as well and goes a long way to help with that inflammation causing some of those ulcers as well. Okay, tip number four is to have that healthy outlet for your stress, whatever that may be. If you don't have a, a healthy outlet for stress, then this is where things can really, you know, have an impact in a negative way for the development and, you know, continuing to have stomach ulcers and a lot of acid. So one of those things may be exercise, it may be yoga, it could be deep breathing, meditation, all of these tools that are easily accessible for people to definitely tune into and be able to do daily really will go a long way at helping with your stress levels, but also of course have, has other health benefits as well. Okay, tip number five is to drink some marshmallow root tea. Now this is made from the plant, Althea, and it's not, you know, the tasty s'mores marshmallows that you may 
may enjoy. This is from the tea and the root of this plant, which is called a demulcent herb. So it's very healing to any type of inflamed tissue and mucous membrane. So that I love the marshmallow root tea. It's fantastic. I've used it for years with my patients. It really helps to soothe the digestive tract and helps any inflammation that's happening there. Today we talked all about stomach ulcers and what you can do to overcome them. I hope that you learned something new. If you do have questions or comments, please drop that in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well. I truly appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you are always notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching.